Okay. So what this does is it has the discount code field right into your car. And it works quite easily. Like I'm using a test code right now. And it says the amount of discount and the code applied. And now if you go to checkout, you're going to see that the code was applied and the amount specified is right here discounted. What I'm going to do next is to show you how to create your custom configuration for a new team. Okay, now, while you write your own configurations, make sure you're logged in as an administrator on your store. To do that, you can click on the little eye icon right here, and it will open the store as an admin. You can check if you're an admin if you see the Shopify logo in the corner, like this. Why this is important is because uh, otherwise the settings will be cached on the browser and uh, it's gonna take a few time for the cache to clear. If you're logged in as an administrator, there is no cache existent. So what's our goal here? Our goal is to add the discount field inside this team somewhere in the cart. Well, I wanna add it somewhere around here on the left side of the screen, similar to how the debut team worked. So in order to do that, uh, this is gonna require a bit of uh, knowledge in HTML. But in order to do that, the first thing I need to figure out is uh, where to place the uh, discount field. So I'm gonna search for a place in the team. So I have the cart form right here. And I have the cart bottom I see. So I think I'll just add my code inside the cart bottom at the beginning to be on top of everything. So I'm gonna copy this class, go back to the app, create a new configuration. I'm gonna insert the discount field inside the cart page. And I'm writing this configuration for jumpstart. Okay, so the first step is to target the location in the team using a CSS selector. The location I want to choose is this one right here, car bottom. So I'm gonna, oh. so I'm gonna pick this one, car bottom. And I want to insert it inside the car bottom at the beginning right here. I created the configuration, jump start, and now I can preview it. Let's see. We have the cart and the discount field right here, but uh, it doesn't look too well. So let's see what's the problem. So we have this here. And uh, I see that this needs a grid item in the panel. I'm gonna put the same code here. The outer parent element, the one that contains the discount field, needs to be a grid item. Okay. Let's see. Refresh. Okay, so it already started to look better. And now I want to match the button, maybe make it like one of these two. Let's see how a button looks like. Button button regular, button color, okay, I'm gonna use all of these classes. So it's gonna be button, button regular, let's see how it looks now. So it has the new classes, maybe I missed something. Button color, button fill. Button 
folder button sorry button button color button fill button created okay I have a discount code and it's a line line right here 